Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In this video analysis today, we're gonna to talk about one of the most effective attacking shots in the World Paddle Tour at the moment, and that is LeBron Smash. So in the video, we're gonna talk about why I think that that one shot is the reason that this pair have won the last few tournaments. We're gonna to look at the technique and see what the basics he does that he does really well that you could put into your smashes to improve them. And we're also gonna look at the extraordinary things that he does on that shot that makes it very difficult even for other professionals to replicate. So full disclosure, believe it or not, he didn't actually send me these videos for me to analyze. This is an exercise that I thought would be useful for those of you wanting to improve your tops and smash, but also for those of you that wanted to learn and break down the mechanics of this amazing shot. Now, before I forget, please click subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get a weekly video on technique, tactics, or analysis like this one. So to begin with, I'm gonna explain why I think this is winning them so many points. And I think it's not just the fact that he can hit a winner off that shot, because maybe in the whole match, they hit 10 or 12 of those that he finishes the point, but it's more the intimidation factor for the opponents. The opponents know if they hit a lob, anywhere in this area that he can come back and finish the point. So what that means is they have a few options. Either they have to hit really close to the glass or they have a smaller target area on the other side of the court or they have to bring him close to the net before they even consider trying to hit a lob. And he is so fast getting in position that it means that it's a big risk for them to do so. It also means that they can't hit this really high defensive lob because he is so good at getting underneath that ball and his timing is so good on that smash that again it's an opportunity for him to finish the point. Because if you look at this point, it's not actually a bad lob. It's gone quite deep, it's gone quite central, and normally the left-hand player would come across and play a bandeja or a vibra. Here you can see Ali Galan moving across as if he's going to hit a vibra on that ball. And if he were to hit a vibra, then the opponents would most likely either block it or defend it in the corner, and the point would continue. But because LeBron can come back and finish the point with a shot like that, that no longer is a safe area for the opponents to hit into, which puts a lot more pressure on them. So looking at some of the basic techniques that he does well in this that you could add to your game, first of all, it's his movement back. You'll notice he takes two big steps and then an adjustment step under the ball and he's in position. There's no delay, there's no ball watching. He gets straight into position underneath that ball so he's prepared to hit. The second is that he has a nice knee bend so that he can drive up through the ball to get extra power. And the third is that his shoulders are pointing towards that back corner, which means he gets excellent rotation. These three are often common errors that we see with this top spin smash, that players are delaying their movement to get back into position. They're not using their legs to drive up through the ball, and also they're not turning their shoulders. And if they don't turn their shoulders, then it's very difficult to get that brush in the right direction for your top spin smash. If the shoulders are open like this when they smash, it's really difficult to come across the ball like you would want to for that shot. So now looking at a few things that make this shot extraordinary that would make it very difficult to replicate. The first is his flexibility. You can see that he gets into that position and his back and his arm flexibility is so impressive that he can contact that ball really far to the left-hand side. And the further left he contacts, the more brush in the direction that he wants to get and therefore the more spin on that ball. So he also generates a great amount of racket speed up to almost a perfect contact. You know, he contacts at the top of that racket head, he gets great brush on the ball and gets the right amount of spin and power on that ball so that it creates the effect that it bounces and really springs off the glass to give it the height. You'll also notice that he's so accurate with where the ball bounces on the court. He's further back in the court, which means he has to hit that ball so that it goes up before it comes down again. And that's why the target area is towards that back glass here, because it needs to come up here with loads of spin to bounce and then comes high off the glass. If you'll notice, 
players that want to hit that attacking tops and smash from a little bit closer will hit the ball shorter and use more power so it can bounce down hits the glass and comes up but because he's further back in the court and this is what makes that shot so impressive is that he has to generate so much spin and power on that ball in order to get it to rebound above the opponents when they jump and you can see here Stupa is very athletic and he's jumping and it still is going over him so you can only imagine how much spin that ball has on it. Like with so many of the amazing shots the World Paddle Tour players are hitting, I don't necessarily recommend trying to put this particular shot into your game, but there are definitely elements that you can take from this that could improve your smash. For example, the fast feet, the bending of the knees, the shoulder turn, and that contact point high up on the racket face are all things that you can start trying to do on your own smash. Now, I've got a whole course on overheads that I'll put down in the description, and here we go through all the overheads. I can't guarantee that you're gonna end up hitting your smash like LeBron, but I can guarantee it will help you improve that part of your game.